This is the factory tactical black version of our carrier. It's a little hard to see, so let's change its color for this video. This carrier has been stripped of all of its attachments in preparation for fitting. The sidearm that's being fitted is just too wide for the narrow mode of the carrier, so we're going to switch the carrier to wide mode. Hold the carrier closed while loosening the width box screws. When the screws are sufficiently loose, the action springs will naturally pull the carrier to its narrowest position. This puts the lock in the unlocked condition in preparation for the next step. Now grasp the carrier like this and separate the two side plates. Now we're going to completely remove the slick pin from the carrier. Fully depress the detent and push it through the first hole. The detent doesn't need to be depressed to go through the width lock, just rotate it until it passes through the keyhole. One more press on the detent and the slip pin is free of the carrier. Remove the width lock assembly from the carrier. Notice that there is a narrow surface and a wide surface on opposing sides of the width lock. When reassembling, the width lock's metal bar always goes between the two thin sets of fingers on the side plate. The wide surface of the lock goes down to select wide mode. The narrow surface of the bar goes down to select narrow mode. Finally, return the slick pin through the two holes of the side plate and the one hole of the width lock assembly. The detent will automatically depress as you're pushing the pin through. Be sure you're passing the pin through the width lock hole. You may need to fight the action springs a little bit to get things lined up. The real-time demo shows that, with a little practice, this whole operation takes less than a minute. Leave the width lock unlocked in preparation for the next fitting step. 